What's up, Agents for Life? Welcome to podcast number 241. As always, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for listening. I really hope to kind of change your mindset just a little bit. That's what we're going to do is just stretch you to a couple of new thoughts that will hopefully spur some new actions, some new habits, some new results for you, because that's what this is all about. That's why I do these is to hopefully help you improve your business. So let's jump in. First of all, a couple of announcements. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you're getting these emails, look down at the bottom. Okay, there's a little resources area in there. You can schedule me to run your appointment if you feel so inclined. Um, and uh, you can schedule me for a dial session to help you with a, doing a dial session together. And then um, you can also schedule a strategy chat with me anytime you like. So if you're brand new, need help in any of those areas, use the appropriate link. If we're doing a team appointment, make sure you invite yourself on as a guest. Tell me about the prospect so I know going in. And if you find a spot on my calendar, I'll help you get going. Okay. So use those resources. A couple of lessons. Well, one particularly from the field, a story more, but a reminder of how important it is to be looking for the the, the money, the opportunities that are there. <clears throat> I had a, a I was doing a review of a client that was from uh, several years ago, and she is in her late 70s. Okay, not a great candidate to do a review, but do your reviews. If you're brand new, you're not going to be doing them quite yet, but when you get to that point down the road, make sure you're one of the agents doing their reviews. Here's why. I uncovered, she said at first, a $45,000 um, 401k that she's actively contributing to, by the way, she's 76 and she's still working. She's got three more years left and she's putting money into a 401k. So I'm like, let's talk about that. So we unpack it and we find that she's got some money in an IRA and a previous 401k summing up over a, a half a million, 550 total between the three, actually a little bit more than that. So, um, we, uh, talked about the possibility of maybe some new options of what she could do with that money that she has not been exposed to previously. And you and I know these as fixed indexed annuity, safeguard her money, give her a paycheck for life down the road. It's a personal pension, guarantees, guarantees, guarantees. People love their guarantees in the retirement years. There's no risk. There's no uh, worry. There's no stress. It's all peace of mind. So we're going to put those pieces together. These are typically appointments, multiple appointments before the sale. So I'm the, the first one that I did was an intake. The next one will be a presentation of numbers. And then the, probably a third will be kind of a follow-up explanation, hopefully get a decision and see if we can take an application. So I will keep you posted on that. But um, that was the opportunity that came across my path simply by asking. So these intake, the appointment forms are designed to capture all the opportunities that you may not even know about. So fill in all the blanks, because when you send those over to me to look at, I can help you understand where to ask questions. Even after you take an application, you can go back for number two, number three, number four, if we have complete information. So don't skip, okay? It's to your advantage to fill out all these and do a thorough intake. Okay, mic drop thought for the week. I love this. I heard this a while back. I can't even remember where. I wish I could give credit, but um, I've heard it a couple of times actually, but it, I was reminded again this week that champions are not made in the ring. Champions, uh, the ring is where they're, they're recognized. Champions are made every morning at four o'clock on the gym floor when the rest of the world is sleeping. That's where the champions are made. And one day everyone wakes up and discovers a new champion has been born but they don't see the behind the scenes. You're a behind the scene right now. You're chipping away at a dream. You're working on something that nobody else is seeing. All of a sudden, one day, if you stay consistent and you don't quit and you get after it, one day you're going to look real attractive to your friends. And they're going to say, what are you doing? And you're going to say, well, in your mind, a new champion is born. But Technically, it's been being born for a long time. You just haven't seen it. And now you get to see the fruits of, you see the harvest, right? The fruits of the labors from years ago. So it's the process. 
So if you're incubating right now, it's okay. Catch the long-term vision of where you're going and what you're doing, because I guarantee you're not getting that at a job. So it's tough if you're leaving a job or running away from a job or whatever, know that it's going to be tough, but you know what? That's where champions are made. Four o'clock in the morning on the gym floor is tough. That's not something that any of us gets excited about, losing sleep and putting in that extra work, that extra sacrifice. Well, we don't have a gym floor in this industry, but we do have leads. We do have dialing. We do have appointments. We do have our numbers. Okay. Get obsessed about all of it. This is your livelihood. This is your future. And you are a champion being born. May not have come to fruition just yet. You plant the seed and wait. Okay. Before it starts to sprout. And I guarantee if you keep at it, water the soil, weed it, you're going to sprout. Okay. Okay. That's the mic drop thought for the week and into the training. Um, this is where I wanted to challenge your thought process just a little bit. We're talking about goals here. Um, what is the true cost of not achieving your goals? Every day that you're not hitting your goals, what is the cost? In other words, maybe a better way of phrasing it is what is the cost of comfort? What is the cost of luxury? Maybe things are too good for you right now. Maybe your bills are paid and you're breaking even. You're, you're not homeless, right? Maybe it's not tough enough to spur you on to take massive action to where you're hungry and you're locked in. Maybe you need one extra little nudge just to get you there. The trick is to do it in spite of. Don't wait for the world to send you that nasty nudge, right? Do it before that happens. But what is the true cost? What is the cost of not hitting your goals? I look at my situation. Okay? I'm a regional manager at Equus right now. The next level is VP. The, bro the bonus, what I get now compared to what I get as a VP is several thousand dollars. A VP bonus is five grand. That's a huge jump. That's a $60,000 income just in bonus money, okay? That's some people's salaries. That's well above the average cost of living or average income in just the form of a bonus, just for hitting the next level. So for me, what is the cost of not hitting that level? $5,000 every month. Well, the difference between the bonus that I'm making and the bonus that I would be making, but it's a lot, right? So what is it costing you to not achieve your goals? Maybe you're just starting out. You need to get to sales manager. There's a $1,000 bonus and you're getting zero. It's costing you $1,000 every month that you don't achieve sales manager. Have you ever thought about that? It's costing you in overrides. It might be costing you in back ends. If you're not here long enough, if it, it might be costing you in uh, a carrier bonus money that you're missing out on because you're falling short of your goals, it, it could be costing you in a lot of different ways than you may not even realize. Now, I have a daughter that's 18. She recently found a boyfriend. Pretty cool stuff, right? Super exciting. But she spends a lot of time with him and they go do things and they spend a lot of money. And there's no fault in that. There's no problem. I'm not pointing fingers, but I'm going to say, and I wouldn't tell her this, but I'm pointing out to you, there's a cost for that. Boyfriends are expensive, <laughs> right? They go to the movies, they go shopping, they drive around and spend money on gas. And I'm not saying don't do that. I'm not so practical to say that she should do, or do away with all that and just make money all day. We're not machines, we're humans. But I do want her to understand the cost. Okay, if I were to take that example to the extreme and she got rid of a boyfriend and she put all of her time, effort, money, didn't spend anything and worked all day and just made money in three or four or five or six months, her life would look completely different. Now, again, I'm not advocating for that because there has to be a balance, but we have to understand the cost of what we're not getting by not engaging in a little more toward our goals. Okay, so let's bring this down to reality. Let's bring this down to a level that maybe can be directly applicable in your situation. Maybe you're brand new and you just started. And because and a lot of you are, and that's why I use that example. We got a lot of growth, by the way, a lot of new people. And I'm excited, super excited for every one of you. So if that's you, welcome to the team. We're going to get you going. But know this, it's going to take some sacrifice. It's going to take you saying no to some things so that you can say yes 
to this business. Okay. This business does not come without a cost. And those that try to do this without making adjustments and sacrifices in their schedule, they usually don't do very well. Okay. The opportunity cost is huge. And in order to make it work, you have to recognize that you have to see where you could be, what you could be doing with the extra time you have time, resource, time, money, and attention. And energy, maybe. Those are our only resources that we truly have to give to the world. And some of us don't have very much money. So we have time, energy, and attention. Okay, whatever resources you have, those are going to go somewhere. And if you're not directing every everything you've got, not 100%, but every extra amount that you've got within a, a reasonable amount of balance in your life into this business into your future, your livelihood, or if you're trying to do three or four things and you're spread thin, you're not going to be great at any of them. Those are the opportunity costs in the economic world. If you go back to school when you were still studying economics, right? We talk about or, uh, opportunity cost. I think all this, like, like the one thing that I remember from my economics class, because most of it went over my head. I was in junior high, I think, or high school, took economics. I'm like, whoa, it was just way too much for me. But I do remember, for some reason, the way the teacher taught opportunity cost stuck in my brain. And I've always remembered it since. And I'm telling you now, there is opportunity cost in this business. So I ask you, and I'll end on this question, what is your opportunity cost for not hitting your goals? How much are you giving up in confidence, in momentum, in energy, and in dollars, because that counts too, covered or protected families. How much are you giving up by not hitting your goals? Your goals are your goals. If your magic number is 10 and you're only coming up at six or two, if your magic number is 20 and you're only hitting 12 or 14, what is the cost of not getting those extra six or eight and hitting your goal? I just want to get you thinking about that because it might be a bigger cost than you think. Guys, this business is phenomenal. The opportunity here is phenomenal. Engage, go all in, give it all you've got, chase after your goals and hit your goals with everything you have because you live once and you can never get younger. You can only go one direction in this life. And that's what life insurance is all about, by the way but it applies to us as agents just as much as it does to our clients. So let's have that urgency. Let's hit our goals. Let's hit our numbers. Let's go after it. And let's remember the opportunity cost so that when we're not hitting our goals, we can take that a little bit more seriously instead of being so casual with it. Anyways, I hope this was relevant to somebody. I don't know why this message stood out to me this week, but somebody I feel needs to hear it. And I'm grateful that you're listening. And I hope that that it resonates in the way that it kind of makes sense in my head. Because we all need it. And I include myself in this, by the way. These are not just for you. These are also for me. But thank you for being a part of the team. I appreciate your attention and your time. And you'll talk, you'll hear from me next week. Take care.